Singapore's insane biggest rail project that shocked the world. The Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail HSR, was a proposed railway project to link Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to Singapore via a high speed rail line. It was proposed by then Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak in September 2010. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung formally agreed to the joint project in February 2013, with the HSR originally expected to be completed by 2026. The HSR line would have been 350 kilometers long and was expected to reduce travel time between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore to 90 minutes. It would have started from Bandar, Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur and connected to the other cities such as Malacca and Seremban as it traveled along the west coast of Malaysia en route to Jurong East in Singapore. To continue the video, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and press like. When you do, then we can move on. Welcome back to our channel, Billion Dollar Projects. Are you ready for this topic? Let's find out more about this railway. A high-speed rail link between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore was proposed in the late 1990s, but due to high costs, the proposal was shelved. The proposal was highlighted in 2010 as a high-impact project out of the 131 entry point projects in the Malaysian government's economic transformation program roadmap in a bid to increase economic activities currently with greater economic synergy between two important regional financial hubs. The Prime Minister of Malaysia in Singapore agreed to go ahead with the HSR project after a meeting on 19 February 2013. A committee was tasked with looking into the details and modalities of the project. At the meeting, Singapore and Malaysia announced that the high-speed rail proposal would be finalized by the end of 2014, with a target completion date of 2020. However, after many delays and disagreements, in late December 2020, reports surfaced that Malaysia had decided to proceed with the HSR project alone, with the project stopping at Johar Bahru and not ending in Jurong as originally planned. In response, a Singapore Ministry of Transport spokesman said that both sides were still in discussion. Unfortunately, agreements have not been reached, but there is hope for that, especially now that it is proposed to expand the project to Thailand as well. Although this disagreement is not exactly good news, one of the better ones is that the project still exists on paper, right? So let's see some plan details. We already told you that the line was to be about 350 kilometers and the travel time would have been 90 minutes. The construction costs were initially estimated at MYR 72 billion or 17.4 billion US dollars by the Barrison National Government. The project would require the construction of a brand new line with dedicated tracks, which would allow trains to travel at least 270 kilometers per hour. MYHSR Corp was to coordinate the project for the essential construction within the Malaysia Corridor, whereas LTA was to be in charge of the Singapore Corridor. MYHSR Corp stated that Kuala Lumpur Singapore Non-Stop High Speed Rail Express service would run every 30 minutes from Bandar, Malaysia, on the outskirts of downtown Kuala Lumpur, to Jurong East in Singapore. The non-stop express service would reach Singapore in 90 minutes and passengers boarding at Bandar Malaysia Station would be able to clear Singapore immigration before boarding. In 2017, the Prime Minister of Malaysia revealed the concept designs for all stations in Malaysia. According to him, the design of each station is conceptualized to reflect the nation's culture, heritage and identity in each of the station's corridors while remaining modern and futuristic, and also to demonstrate the growth vision that the HSR would bring. HSR would also have three depots in Sidang, Muar, and Pontian. Surely you are interested in what those stations will look like. That's why we tried to show you that too. Take a look. Bandar Malaysia is a reinterpretation of the confluence of Kiang and Gombak rivers, which symbolizes wisdom and the unity of the people. Bangi Putrajaya, inspired by Islamic architecture, especially mosques, and envisions Malaysia's aspirations as a progressive nation, articulated by the pointed arched standing united. Seremban, a modern interpretation of the local Mening Kaobao architecture of Nigiri Sambilan. Ayer Kero, 
Designed from the image of a merchant ship which symbolizes the entrepreneurship spirit of local communities, also symbolizing Malacca's history as a strategic trading port in its heyday. Muar, inspired by the Rihal, which is traditionally used to place the Quran as students learn to recite it, thus symbolizing the importance of learning. Batu Pahat, inspired by the Kudakipan, a horse-like item used in traditional dance amongst Javanese descendants of Johor, which aims to strike a balance between heritage and modernization. Iskander Paturi, a stylized representation of a handshake, signifying Iskander Paturi's role as a regional city for commerce and international encounters. At which station would you like to get off the train? Why? Since we've been talking through the video so far, now it's your turn to tell us your thoughts and criticisms. Leave everything you want to tell us in the comments below. You will click the bell, like, and share button. For some content like this, subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. Be safe and see you soon.